The U.S. Census provides data the country uses for federal funding. It also determines the number of seats a state will have in the House of Representatives. We always say the census is like about two things, uh, money and power. The deadline to submit the 2020 census is quickly approaching. Wednesday, September 30th is the last day to fill it out. It can be filled out online, over the phone, or by mail. The deadline was pushed back because of the pandemic, but the Trump administration moved the deadline up by a month a move many have said would damage the accuracy of the count. There is still some litigation going around in the court system, uh, but right now, best that we're hearing for, for guests as to how it will occur is that the September 30th date will hold. When you fill out the census, make sure to include everybody living in your household as of April 1st, 2020. The rule of thumb is that everybody is counted, so um, it doesn't matter. Um, if you weren't born in the United States or if you're a, a baby, you know, a couple weeks old, uh, older person, every person is counted. After the census, the number of House seats Nebraska has will most likely remain at three. Congressional districts may be redrawn, though. The boundaries will have to change because our urban areas like the uh, Omaha Bay 2nd Congressional District is the fastest growing, followed by the 1st District, which is Lincoln air and surrounding areas. And then the third district, more rural territory, is probably actually going to have lost a little bit of population over the decade. So we'll have to rebalance that and, and there'll be some shifting. Don't forget, it's still not too late. And we just encourage everybody to um, fill out the census because it's safe, easy, and important. It's only 10 questions that take about 10 minutes of your time. In Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now.